Okay, this is going to be a quick demo of how to add an RSS feed from iPadio into a Xerti learning object. So what I'm going to quickly do, I'm on, I'm logged into my iPadio um, account now. I'm just going to click any one of these um, RSS feed buttons, um, and what we'll see is the the RSS feed load up into Internet Explorer. But basically, I can just copy and paste. So Control C the RSS feed address that's in the address bar. Okay, I'm going to switch to um, my Xerti learning object window um, which I've already got open here and this is a just a brand new learning object just for this purpose and I'm going to click insert then miscellaneous and then RSS feed. Um, Let's give it a title, let's say Course Reflections. Um, read and listen to the group reflections. Okay, all I need to do is in this feed URL, press Control V to paste the um, feed I captured from my iPadio account. Um, I've got an option whether to have the text aligned on the left or the right. It's a bit confusing. It's actually the uh, which way round the RSS feed will appear. So we want the RSS feed on the right. Um, so we're going to select right. Um, all I need to do now is press play to preview what it will look like. And hopefully you can see, if I bring the window down, we have our course, our page title, we have the instruction, or the prompt. Um, what we see is a link to each um, iPadio recording and also the automatically trans transcripted, uh, transcribed text from that recording that, that would have been done a short while after the recording was actually made um, via a site called Spinbox. So that's all automatic. If you want to listen to any of these, we simply click the link and it will load up that particular recording in the iPadio site. So how would we use this? Well, basically you can prompt any of the group to make a reflection via iPadio on the way home or between um, one lesson and the next and then use it to recap on what you covered and, and what people thought of the previous session um, and I'm sure you can think of um, a number of other ways that this could be useful. So it took a while to load up um, but here you can see is that particular um, audio recording that I clicked on.